guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Heisey. I'm a mom of a girl and a boy. I have a three-year-old named Alina and one and a half month old named Elijah. Since we had our son Elijah seven weeks ago, there have been a lot of changes in Alina's behaviors, especially at nighttime. She used to be a perfect sleeper, she used to be very cooperative and independent, but suddenly she started fighting bedtime. She would throw tantrums, refuse to take a shower, refuse to clean up, she doesn't want me to leave the room, she doesn't want to sleep. So now, not only am I taking care of our newborn, I'm also dealing with bedtime battles with our older one, and it's exhausting. So I had to come up with something that could help the situation and I started to use this timer and I think it's a game changer. So in today's video, I would like to share what our Montessori nighttime routine looks like with our 3 year old and how we incorporated this timer in our daily routine. Now I'm on my way to pick up Alina. I made sure that I had a nap and had a snack so that I'm physically and emotionally ready for that second stretch of the day. 그래서 오늘 아린이 뭐가 제일 재밌었어? 어, 망치놀이였어. 망치놀이는 뭐야? 나는 바둑 치고 어. 주아는 박스 쳤어. 아 진짜? 어. 귀여워. 어디다 정리해줘? 아. 집에 오면 우리 뭐 하지? 제일 먼저? 맞아요. Alina used to wash her hands at her Montessori kitchen, but since we changed our water tap from this one to this one, Alina can turn on water here independently, so she no longer uses the water pump in her play kitchen, and I'm really happy that she grew out of it. We used to have an automatic soap dispenser which I got rid of it because Alina is now big enough to use the regular dispenser and down here we have a hook at her level so that she can dry her hands and hang her towel. <laughs> Alina decided to play with magnet tiles while I'm getting dinner ready and Elijah is just hanging around next to Alina. After every meal, I encourage her to clean up her table, so I placed a spray bottle and a cloth next to a Montessori kitchen so that she can have the responsibility of cleaning up after herself. She doesn't do this every day. There are many days that she just refuses to do it, but I remind her to clean up the table every day. 5분 해놨지? 응. 5분 지나면 이거 다 정리하고 가는 거야. 응. 오케이? I love this visual timer because it's really saved my sanity. So we set the timer for about 5 minutes to play before shower and she agreed that when the buzzer goes off in 5 minutes, she's going to clean up and take a shower. 정리하자. I love how it shows her how much time is left. When we say let's take a shower in 5 minutes, it's very confusing for young children since they have no real concept of actual time. Watching this red disc disappear on the timer helps Alina prepare for what's coming and she doesn't argue too much when time is up. Thanks to this timer, since we use this, our evening goes more smoothly. Now it's time to take a shower. 
Alina grabs her own bathrobe and I like to take a shower with her so that she can learn how to wash properly. She has her own bath ball in the shower and it really encourages her to wash herself and she's been getting really good at it. After taking a shower, Alina's putting away her clothes in her dirty clothes basket and I'm turning Dyson on to keep the room nice and warm through the night. Alina's picking out her singlet and her pajamas. This drawers are from IKEA. It's nice and low and really sturdy, so it's great for Montessori bedroom. With this setup, Alina can access her clothes independently and she can choose her pajamas on her own. I try not to rush our bedtime routine. It's so easy to want to rush the process because we really want to clock up from mommy's duty but kids can sense when you're rushed and frantic and they'll slow down and resist. After getting pajamas on, Alina puts away her bathrobe and we read books together. We usually read one or two books and tonight Alina's picking out two books from her bookshelf. <laughs> We're done with reading books and now Alina's taking things that she needs like the night lamp, her favorite cushion and her pillow. Often she wants a water bottle as well. I used to just do a prayer and leave the room but since we had Elijah, Alina struggled a little cause I guess she realized she's no longer the center of attention. So I added this one on one time into our bedtime routine. This is the time for her to snuggle up to me, feeling relaxed and loved and connected. During this time, I make sure I give her my full attention so no mobile phone and Elijah is not around and we chat and laugh and cuddle and do whatever she likes. And at the end of our bedtime routine, we do our prayers. This is a sign that our bedtime routine is over and it's time to sleep. It's good to have a firm ending to your bedtime routine like doing prayers or singing a specific song or reading a specific book so that your child can prepare for what's coming and when the time comes, they don't argue too much and accept that it's time to go to sleep. So this is the end of our bedtime routine. As you guys can see, I created lots of opportunities in Alina's nighttime routine for her autonomy and independence. I really want her to feel respected and able to make her own choices in a developmentally appropriate way. I know Alina enjoys setting up her own dinner table, Alina enjoys washing herself in the shower, and she enjoys choosing her own jammies and books to read. And I think this helped us a lot mitigate some of the struggles around the known negotiables and our bedtime battles decreased significantly. I hope you guys enjoyed our bedtime routine. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!